My name is Haram Jang, a junior from Belair International Scholars. Um, so, first of all, thank you for having me today and giving me the opportunity to deliver my message to all of you guys. So, today, I want to start my speech with some questions. So, first question, do you guys really believe that there is a climate change in the world? So, do you guys recognize the seriousness of the climate change? Um, I assume that most people's answer to these questions should be yes. This is because a lot of news, media, and activists are raising their voices in order to raise awareness on environmental issues and trying to resolve them. Um, then, let's change the direction of the question a little bit. Are you acting to mitigate the climate change? Are you acting to resolving the climate change? Um, maybe the answer to this question could be a little bit different from the answer from the questions that I just asked above. But why? Why do people recognize the climate change and the severity of it, but not act? I want to answer this question with my experience. Actually, it was not so long ago that I've been interested in environmental issues and environmental sciences. Um, last summer, I participated in one extracurricular activity called Green Youth Korea. Um, to be honest, I started this project in order to fill out my one resume, and then I, like, I tried to fill like one, one line in my resume. However, the first activity of this project totally changed my life. Me and my team watched a documentary on the topic of climate change, which is called This Changes Everything. This documentary deals with the people who lost their land because of industrialization, deforestation, and climate change. Yeah, the content of this documentary is really common, right? This is exactly the same like the content that US news media and activists are dealing with and informing about. Then what does make the difference for me? What does make me raise my voice on environmental issues and make me act? Um, actually, there was no difference. And then, but my perspective and viewpoint have been changed. I don't know why, I don't know the reason why, but I just felt like those people in this documentary, as the people around me, like my parents, friends, teachers, and me, and you guys. And I began to imagine, imagine, like, what if this happens to them? Like, what if this happens to me? What if this happens to my parents and brothers and my friends? So most of the people who lost their lands in this documentary are minority groups. Uh, they don't have enough power or nor economic benefit to support or protect their life, protect the lands and their houses. Because of this, they lost their lands and they where they have sacrificed their lives within their passions. So because be, this is because they're poor and because they're not powerful. They lost their families and faced the issues of the separation from their families. This is because their families were killed due to cancer caused by the industrialization, deforestation, and hazardous waste from the factories nearby their houses. However, they couldn't do anything. Why? Because they're poor and because they're not powerful. What if this happens to me? What if this happens to my parents, brother, friends, and teachers, and even you guys? We're living in this world. We're living in this world with our family, right? We're living in this world with our community. We are living in this world with our family consisting of 7.8 billion people. We are living in this world with our community consisting of 8.7 million spaces. Our families are dying. Our community is disappearing. Then, what could we do? What we have to do? Take action. But how? Like, many people consider taking action as really a big deal. They think that like they have to deliver a speech in front of a lot of people or like in front of the UN or make policies, stop factories or doing something amazing. Already climate change has progressed a lot and one person is not powerful enough to resolve it by oneself. Earth is barreling toward 1.5 degrees Celsius of warming and has lost its own power to recover. Yeah, it's true that one person cannot change the world. One person cannot resolve this serious problem because we're not powerful and then our power is too weak to make a change. Yeah, it's true and undeniable. We can make a ch change just by one person and we can make a chance, uh, change just by one try. Um, our impact is too small. However, what if we gather up? What if we put together and work together with small things? What if we 
All the global citizens actively remind each other and participate in saving the earth. At first, it started with a very small thing, like such as using tumblers instead of uh, disposable products or like paper cups, or raising the inside temperature about 1.5 deg Celsius degrees during the summer, deleting unread emails message in order to save our data and energy. These small things does not require many things, but just a little attention and effort of everyone. And when these small things are corrected, a huge change happens. We cannot make a change just by one person, as I said. We cannot make a change by just by one trial. But we can make a change with our global citizens, and we can make a change by numerous actions and tries. I believe that environmental issues cannot be solved by one country and then only by one, one try, but only when all people and one, all country and world cooperate. So let's save our family consisting of 7.8 billion people and a community consisting of 8.7 million spaces. So let's start off with the small things and make a big difference. Small things make a big difference. Thank you.